Hello everybody! Welcome! In this screencast I want to show you how MPS can help you perform tail recursion optimization for your Java code. Now what you see on the screen is a very straightforward piece of Java code where we calculate factorial. Factorial is one of many functions that can benefit from tail recursion optimization. So I pick that one and I'm calling a factorial factorial method here which resides in a factorial calculator class and it's a static method. So here we go. Here it is. We s silently and seamlessly jumped from Java into MPS. Some of you might have noticed, you know, this is still Java but now inside the MPS projectional editor. And I jumped to MPS because now I want to do stuff that is not available in plain Java. So I want to continue coding in Java, but I want to have some extra features available, like tail recursion optimization. Now if you look at the code, notice we have a factorial function which takes an integer and now it calls the fact method or function, function that's private and it performs the actual calculation. So it recursively calls itself until n reaches 1 and then it returns whatever has accumulated in the accumulator. Well, when I run this program we obviously get back a factorial of the number that we provided, a factorial of 50 in this case, which is fine. However, since we use recursion there's a limit to what we can do. So with 50,000 factorial will throw stack overflow exception because recursion now exhausted whole stack. So now we got stack overflow error and we can't calculate factorial of 50 of 50,000. However, however, if we perform tail recursion optimization so that instead of recursion we translate our recursion into a loop and in that loop then we calculate factorial, then things will work again. With the abilities of MPS and the base language extension that we've created, we don't have to unroll recursion manually. We can just let the code generator to do it for us. So, we might say that the fact function should be tail recursive. So we indicate to the compiler or to the MPS code generator that we want this recursive function to be enrolled into a loop. Obviously there are restrictions. If you want to unroll recursion into, into a loop, then the last operation that you do within the function body must be the recursive call, which is not the case at the moment and we get a warning or error actually. Error telling us that there's no method call in the tail recursion, so this is not tail recursive, we can't compile this. However, if we inline inline the variable, so now we restructure the function, now the function is tail recursive or can be can be unrolled into into a loop. Because the last operation we do is calling fact the fact operation itself recursively. So let's try with 50,000. Now it takes a while, but ultimately we get a result. Here it is. So now our function is no longer recursive. It's been tr at cogeneration phase. It's being generated into Java with a while loop in it. So now this recursive function is no longer recursive when it comes to uh, Java code. You know, because this is translated into Java source that looks like this. So here is our fact function that we pass to the Java compiler. So the Java compiler can see a method that has a while loop in it and in that while loop it does all the calculations. So basically it uses local variables to store the intermediate results and you know for and iterate 
over and over again. So this is what, and, but this all happens behind the scenes. The MPS code generator will do that. One advantage of using MPS is that you get edit time warnings, edit time notifications if things are wrong. So for example, if our function if our function is not tail recursive, we get an error message telling us that, telling us, hey, we can't optimi optimize this because it's not tail recursive. So you get an error, you can't compile. For this to work for your IntelliJ idea and for your project, all you need is to install MPS plugin in IntelliJ IDEA and then grab the base language extensions plugin. I'll give you more instructions in the notes below the video, so check them out. Well that's all folks. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.